Hello, I'm the 10 Minute English Teacher. Let's get you exam ready. Today we're thinking about unseen poetry and we're going to be looking at a poem called Nettles by Vernon Scannell. The first thing we need to think about is what we actually need to do in the exam. So if you're a Pearson Edexcel candidate or an AQA candidate, you have about 45 minutes in, in the exam to respond to your unseen poetry um, section. If you are Pearson at Excel, what you're asked to do is compare poem A to poem B. So you're given two poems and you've got 45 minutes, one question asking you to compare them. If you're an AQA candidate, you've got a slightly different um, section to respond to. You've got about half an hour um, to just analyse one poem, poem A. So you spend about half an hour exploring that. And then after that, you have to compare the same same poem, poem A, to a second poem, poem B. And this is a wonderful question because you're able to reuse and recycle some of the things that you've said already about poem A. In the 10 minutes that we have to today, we are going to read the poem. We're going to understand how a key theme is presented in it. We're going to think about the structure of it, consider key uses of language, and we'll know how to structure a written response to it. Today's question... How are relationships presented in Nettles by Vernon Scannell? If you are an AQA candidate, this will be an unseen poetry, um, an unseen poem to you. And if you're an Edexcel candidate, you're, um, you're getting some revision at the very least of a poem from your anthology. Here is the poem. So this is Nettles. I'll read it to you now. My son, age three, fell in the nettle bed. Bed seemed a curious name for those green spears, that regiment of spite behind the shed. It was no place to rest. With sobs and tears, the boy came seeking comfort, and I saw white blisters beaded on his tender skin. We soothed him till his pain was not so raw. At last he offered us a watery grin. And then I took my billock, I honed the blade, and went outside and slashed in fury with it, till not a nettle in that fierce parade stood upright any more. And then I lit a funeral pyre to burn the falling dead, fallen dead. But in two weeks the busy sun and rain had called up tall recruits behind the shed. My son would often feel sharp wounds again. Okay, what we need to show we understand when it comes to the exam, and this is the same for writing about poetry from your anthologies, we need to explore how the poem makes us think about the theme. So today we're thinking about relationships. This is about a father's relationship with his son. It's about parenthood and and, and the love that you have for your children. Then we need to think about the structure of the poem, what the writer's chosen and why that suits the, the, you know, the, the tone or the... the perspective that the writer has and when we've done that we are going to look at the meanings and messages provided in the language used so paragraph one it's a, if you're writing about one poem um, you just write about that poem and of course if you're writing about two this is where you you can do a bit of comparison of, of the way in which the themes are presented so we want to keep it simple and just show that we really understand what the poem is about so on the left-hand side, Nettles explores how parents want to protect their children from harm. In simple terms, the Nettles have stung his, his son and he goes out and cuts the Nettles down. So it's about wanting to protect your children. That's relatively straightforward to, um, to understand. And if you're aiming for that sort of four, five, six mid-band response, that is what you should know and be able to grasp and explore. If you're aiming for the top band and you're, you're a seven, eight, nine um, candidate, that's what you're aiming to achieve, then you need to explore a little bit more than just the obvious and think, think below the surface. So we've got this um, this response here. Nettles explores how parents want to protect their children from harm, but that it is impossible to shield them from pain in life. And ultimately, the poem's an extended metaphor, um, and, and it's exploring how you just simply cannot shield your children from harm because life is fraught with it. Now, paragraph two is where you explore the structure. Doing that and ticking that off means that you've, um, you, you know, you've, you've hit the needs of the mark scheme and then you, you'll be ready to sort of spend as much time as you have done at analysing the language. So on the left-hand side, we've got Nettles is one continuous stanza. It's just one big long verse. Uh, as if there's no pause to being a parent uh, or no end to the love the speaker has for the son. So I've made a simple... You know, the Understanding that is relatively straightforward. It's one long verse. As if, and then you've got to try and say something, you know, link that to the themes and the ideas and the perspectives. So why is it one long verse? Maybe it's because the love for your children never ends, and that's why it's just one unending. You know, it's one stanza. There's no, no, it's not set up in in verses in that sense. So that's where you um you get your marks by coming up with some sort of um 
technical or interesting thing to say about the structure. On the other side, we've got something that uses a, a response with a bit of key terminology. So we've got the use of iambic pentameter also provides a steady rhythm, which could reflect the slashing rhythm of the destroying of the nettles in the garden. Um, admittedly, that's a little bit flowery, but that works. You know, ultimately, by, by coming up with, with your own ideas as to why that structure might be chosen or what it could reflect about the poem, that's going to get you, um, you know, seriously good marks. And if you're doing that about both poems, if you're having to write about two, being a little bit comparative, exploring how they're similar or different, you'll be showing that you can see how these poems um, relate to each other. And once we've explored the themes and how they're presented we've looked at the structure it's then time to explore the language and you can use all the time that you've got for the question to do that you don't necessarily need a conclusion here you just need to get into exploring the, the methods used by the writer so we've got a nice easy straightforward point here the speaker uh, treats cutting the nettles down as if it's a battle he describes the nettles to be a fierce parade and here's the analysis for that the personification here is effective as it makes the nettles seem as if they have a motive. And this reflects the idea of the speaker battling for his son. You know, he's in a constant war to, to keep his child safe. And I've taken that a little bit further here. The idea of a parade could symbolise the idea of his son being surrounded by threats in life, not just in the garden. Um, so I've got my easy, straightforward point. I don't, I don't want to make anything too complex or complicated. I'm exploring the poem and the meanings. I've taken a reference. And then I've the clever, com complicated bit is where I think about all the ideas that could be communicated by the language. So for you today, think about what points you could make using these these quotes and what analysis you could provide for them. So there's there's three extra quotes here. That's something that you can do to take take your response further. The busy sun and rain had called up tall recruits. My son would often feel sharp wounds again. Now, what could sharp wounds be a metaphor for um, if we look beyond the literal? And white blisters beaded on his tender skin. So we've got a few really wonderful references from the text that you could explore to take your response further. An optional extra for you, you could find another pe uh, poem online about parenthood and consider if the perspectives are similar or different, as well as their structures and choices of language, and then write three comparative paragraphs comparing the poems. OK, check out the other videos on my channel. I'll continue to add content. Feel free to ask for something you'd like to see me cover in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, ring the bell, share, most importantly, keep revising.